Hello. In this video, I'll be showing you how to do rotations on a graph. We'll be rotating the letter R for various degrees. And I'd like to show you this without using coordinate rules. I have other videos where I show you how to use coordinate rules, and coordinate rules can be handy, but sometimes you don't need them. Sometimes you can just visualize what this rotation is going to do to the shape and where the shape will be when the rotation is done, and you don't need to bother with all the coordinates. If you were to use coordinates, sometimes it makes things more complicated. So, for example, if I were going to rotate this letter R 90 degrees clockwise, CW is clockwise, I would have to write down the coordinates of all five of those points in the letter R, and then I'd have to apply this rule. I'd have to remember the rule, or figure out the rule, or look up the rule if I don't remember it, that any point XY becomes the point Y negative X. So I take my original x coordinate, I take the opposite of it, I make it the new y coordinate, I take my original y coordinate and make that the new x coordinate. So then I have to take all of, our, all of our coordinates, apply this rule to them, make a list of the new coordinates, and then plot all of those new coordinates. And sometimes that can just be kind of a headache. So let's just do this without bothering with these coordinate rules. While I'm at, I can show you the other ones if you'd like to pause it if you're curious. Here's the coordinate rule for a 180 degree rotation, and here's the coordinate rule for a 270 degree clockwise rotation, but I'm not going to bother with these in this video. So you can pause it here, copy those down if you're curious, but forget about them for now. Let's just visualize what this is going to look like. First off, 90 degrees clockwise. Clockwise, like the hands of a clock, a clockwise rotation goes around this way. So this letter R is going to rotate around this way. 90 degrees is a one quarter turn. 360 degrees is all around. 90 degrees is a one quarter turn. So this letter R is going to come down into this quadrant of the graph. But if you're having trouble visualizing what that is going to look like after it turns that much, the easiest thing that I can recommend is just turn the paper a quarter turn. So the letter R is here. After you rotate it 90 degrees clockwise, it will be down in this quadrant and it will look exactly like this. So that is your 90 degree rotation. How do you draw it? Well, let's start with this point here. This point is one to the right from the origin, starting at the origin, one to the right, one, two, three down. So if we just turn our paper back the original way, let's start at the origin, go one to the right, one, two, three down, and there is our new point. So this point rotates to there. Can't remember what the rest of it did? Turn the paper back. From here, it goes over one, two, I put another dot and go over two more and put another dot. So let's just turn the paper back to how it's supposed to be. And we'll go from starting from here, go over one, two, put a dot, go over one, two, put another dot. So I've got three of my five points done. What's it supposed to look like when we're done? Let's turn it one more time. I see that between these two, right halfway in between, if I go down two, I can put a dot. And this point here is kind of down to the left, diagonally down here. So if I turn back, I go between these two, halfway between, go down two, and there's that point. And then I go down diagonally to this point here, and there is my letter R. I can just connect them with these lines. And there's that letter R. I rotated it 90 degrees clockwise and ended right there. I didn't need to bother with any coordinate rules. What if I'm going 90 degrees counterclockwise? Well, counterclockwise is going in the opposite direction. Counterclockwise is going around this way, the opposite of how the hands of a clock would turn. So this one is going to go one quarter turn into this quadrant up here. Remember, 360 degrees takes you all the way around. 90 degrees is only a quarter of the way around. Having trouble visualizing it, do the same thing. Turn the paper one quarter turn, 
and that's what the letter R is going to look like, kind of tipped over on its side. So how do you get to this point? Start at the origin, go one to the left, and one, two, three up, and we can get to that point. Turn the paper back, start at the origin, one to the left, one, two, three up, and there's that point. Where are the others? Turn it back again. From here, we go one, two to the left, one, two more to the left, and put those dots there and there. So we'll go here, go one, two to the left, put a dot, two more to the left, put a dot. And when you're good at this, you don't have to keep turning it back and forth over and over, but I'll just keep doing that just to illustrate this. This point here is halfway in between these two and up two. And this one goes up diagonally across two squares up to this point here. So let's go between those two, up two there, and then go diagonally across two squares there. Connect everything with lines. And there is our letter R after a 90 degrees counterclockwise rotation. Let's do two more. Let's try a 180 and let's try 270 clockwise. 180 degrees, it doesn't say clockwise or counterclockwise. Which way are we supposed to go? Well, it turns out that it doesn't matter. 180 degrees of a, of a circle is halfway around. It's half of 360 degrees. So I could go 180 degrees around this way, or I could go 180 degrees around this way, and I end up in the same quadrant. It does not matter which way. So it's going to be down here, and if you can't visualize what it will look like, just turn the paper halfway around. A half turn this time because 180 degrees is half of 360. So there's a quarter turn, there's a half turn, it's halfway around, and there's the letter R. So that's what it's going to look like. How do we get to this point here? We go one, two, three to the left and one down. So that's where that point will be. Turn the paper back, go one, two, three to the left and one down. What does the rest of it look like? Go down two, put a dot, down two, put a dot. Let's turn it back, go down two, put a dot, go down two, put a dot. So there's that line. What does it look like from there? Between these two, I'm going to curve over, do that curvy part, and then go up to the left diagonally. So I can do this curvy part here, and then go up to the left diagonally. And there is my letter R after a 180 degree rotation. And finally, 270 clockwise. 270 is going to be three quarters of the way around because 270 out of 360 is 3 quarters. So there's 90, there's 180, and there's 270. It puts us into this quadrant. For me personally, I have a harder time picturing this, turning it once, twice, three times. I have a harder time with that than if I were to say, well, 270 clockwise is going to be the same as 90 degrees counterclockwise. So when I'm doing these, the first thing I do is I say, okay, forget about 270 clockwise. Let's turn this into a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation, which puts us to the same place. And now I'm only tipping it over one time, and it's a lot easier to visualize. So let's finish this off. Let's now go 90 degrees counterclockwise, which is one like one we just did a minute ago. If I do a one quarter turn this way, the letter R is going to be right up here like this, so I can get to this point by going one to the left, three up. Turn my paper back, one to the left, three up, and now I can just keep going back and forth, or as you get better at this, you can just visualize what this is going to look like, and you can just complete it without turning it back and forth, back and forth, there is your letter R after rotating 270 degrees clockwise or 
knowing that's also 90 degrees counterclockwise. So I hope this helps. Coordinate rules have their place and they can be very handy, but sometimes it's really good just to be able to visualize what these will look like and just turn them without bothering with all the coordinates. So I hope this was helpful.